What's up, Rodders? You know who it is, your boy Savage, aka Sevlo, the one and only Savage. I'm just playing, but like, comment, subscribe, share, hit the notification bell. Let's get to the politic. Big shout out to everybody showing the channel love. So, initially, I wasn't even going to do this video because it really is not on me to talk about it. I did a video about this dude a couple months back, um, and people were asking me to actually do this video. A couple of the homies, a couple of subscribers, people I know on other comment sections and formats. And it's about the Savage Studio murder. And um, what do I think about it? How do I feel about it? Well, first and foremost, I always say, what energy you put out there, you will get that energy back. If you're putting yourself out there and you got all kinds of negativity around you and that's what you're pushing, you're going to get negativity 10 times more back coming towards you than when you put it out there. And from what I get from Savage Studio, he was a negative person. He was always beefing with people on YouTube. The worst place to beef with, YouTube. Now, I talked about the other Sudanio, the youngster that put out the negative aspect, but I really think he was actually active. You know, this dude was on here talking about other gangs. He was talking about politics in the prison yard when you're not supposed to be doing that, especially what he represent, represented it. And another thing is, too, he glorified being a dropout. And where I come from, I know people say the politics out there in Colorado is not serious but where i come from being a pc is one of the worst things you can do bro you can't be a pc out here and then think that you're gonna get respect but he was actually a pc and he was he was very very proud of that and he was representing a pc gang meaning it meaning he was from a hood he dropped out and joined another gang on a pcr what that's not honorable bro there's no hard in that like People look at that and, and the only people people that agree with that are people that obviously haven't done time. People that were a part of that and became a victim and had to join a PC gang, a dropout gang, are just people that don't understand prison politics. So that's my stance on it. Sorry for his family, man. Unfortunate for his family because he had kids, he had a family, and he got killed behind you reckless YouTube situations. But like I said, when you put that energy out there, you're going to get that energy back. So that's that's all I have to say about the situation. I'm not talking about it no more. But I thought, you know, because people kept asking me over and over and over, I thought I'd give a little input on, uh, you know, how I feel about the situation. But until the next video, respect to the real rotters, man. Let's go.